Hey there, math fans. We're going to visualize the connection between sine and cosine and circular motion. Certainly, there are many of these sorts of videos online, but this one involves college mascots. <laughs> Here I have Harry the Husky, um, the UW mascot, and Butch, the Cougar WSU mascot, and I've tasked them with a job. So as the angle changes going around a circle, I've asked Butch to stay in line with the Y coordinate, and I've asked Harry to stay in line with the X coordinate. And you can see I'm bouncing back and forth there. Now the angle I'm giving is in radians. There are many reasons we do that, but the main reason we do radians, this is a bonus thing here, is because the connection between the arc length and the angle. And this not only extends to the fact that the angle and the arc length are the same, it also helps us when we're defining sine and cosine. We like to use that as our x-axis. We use the, the theta axis when we graph sine and cosine independently. Because of this scaling factor, it leads to many nice consequences. So it all stems from that same fact, if you've watched any of my previous stuff. Okay, so let's pick one of them. How about, um, Butch, you're going to go first. And let's follow you. You're following the Y coordinates. And let's see where you're at. So here we go. Just following the Y coordinates. There it's as high as it's ever going to be. Butch is at 1. It comes down. It comes down. It comes down. And then Butch will be 0. We're moving to the right as the angle changes, as the arc length changes, since they're the same. And that leads to several nice connections. That's it. That is the sine graph. It keeps track of the y coordinate on the unit circle. It extends the definition of sine and cosine. All right, Harry, you're up. So we'll move this down. And here comes Harry. This is the cosine graph. It starts at 1 because the x coordinate starts at 1. Harry's keeping track of the x coordinate. It confuses people a little bit that the output is x here. But again, the axis is theta. It's the angle. It's also the arc length. So we're giving the location in terms of the angle and the arc length. So there you go. Thank you, uh, Butch <laughs> and, and Harry. Let's let you both go. That's sine and cosine. Again, you can find many other visuals, but probably not very many that have Butch and Harry helping.